Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, I'm Lauren. I hope that you're all continuing to stay healthy and safe and well, and that your 2022 is off to a great start. Speaking of 2022, I am going to be doing my luxury wish list for this year. I did do this last year, if you watched, and I put it out in the middle of the year, which it was just my own fault. So I thought I would do it correctly this year and put it out at the beginning. Now, if you watched my last video, which was my handbag collection video, and thank you so much for all of you that have commented on it, that you know that I said that I'm fairly content with my collection as it is, and I totally am. Um, when I say this wish list, these are things that I would like to add to my collection. Do I need to add them? 100% no. I am trying to minimize. I am going to be selling a few of my pieces as well. So um, just keep that in mind that I, these are things that I would like to add, but I don't necessarily need to add. I definitely don't need to. Um, but I always think it's fun to watch these to get ideas. And like I said, since I did do my handbag collection, you can really let me know whether or not and whether or not I need these items on my wish list, or if you're thinking like Lauren, oh what the heck? No, you don't need that. That's ugly. Let me know. I like to hear your opinions to be completely honest. So this luxury wish list is pretty realistic because there's only a four handbags on this list. Last year there was three. I think I, I only picked up one of them. This year there are four because like I said, I'm keeping it real. I can probably only afford four of these handbags. Um, it's not a priority in my life, honestly. Being able to pay off my mortgage is a priority. Investing NFTs is now a priority in my life. So um, handbags are just something that I, when I have extra funds and I save up for it and I'm able to get one, then I'll get it. But honestly, it's I'm, I'm not the type of person that can realistically go out and buy handbags every month. I don't have the means to do that. I'm a teacher over here. I'm a hardworking teacher, but uh, I don't have the money <laughs> to do that. So. Without further ado, let's just get into it. I will also show on the screen the handbag that I'm talking about so you can get a better visual of it. Um, I'll tell you what I sort of like about the handbag. I'm looking at my phone right now because I wrote the notes on my phone. Um, and then you can also let me know whether or not I should get it or I should just work with something I have already. So. The first handbag, um, there's actually two that I'm kind of going in between, so I'd really like your opinion here. It's by Dior. I have not ever picked up a Dior piece, but they have definitely piqued my interest. Um, the leather looks beautiful. So it's the Dior Bobby, which um, is fairly popular, I feel like, on YouTube, on social Instagram, or social Instagram, on socials, on Instagram, anything like that. Um, I originally really wanted the small size. Uh, I think the small size, because I like really small handbags, handbags I feel like the small will work really well for me and then the colors they change it it used to be called camel I don't know if it's called camel anymore it's not showing up on the um, Canadian website they're only showing the black unfortunately um, but it's like that tan kind of color it retails for about 4700 Canadian which is whew, like thinking about spending that much and then paying taxes that to me hurts it hurts like here um, and I would have to save up quite a bit in order to get that handbag but some of the reasons why I want the bobby um, and the pros I feel like it's a very classic shape so I don't feel like it's ever gonna go out of style um, I feel like I'll use it for years to come the second reason I like it is because I feel like it's not super duper loud um, I know that Dior have like many um, luxury houses have like a monogram print whereas I feel like the bobby is a little bit more minimal you know it has that sort of CD um, kind of plaque on it but I mean it's not really in your face um, and then I like the size of it I feel like being the small size compared to the medium I think the medium will just be a bit too big I won't actually have enough things to put in it I just feel like small handbags work pretty well with sort of my shape and um, like the size of my body so I do like it. I've heard good things about Dior leather as well. So please let me know if you have any Dior pieces, um, what your thoughts are on them. Something else I should mention is that when I'm thinking about adding an item to my collection, I really have to think about the longevity of that item and whether I'm going to be using it for years to come because I don't have money to just like spend on handbags uh, left and right. I really need to think about it and it really has to work for my lifestyle. So at this point in my life um, and sort of just getting to know what I 
like. I feel like you all make those mistakes in like your 20s and things like that. But I feel like I've learned what works for me now and sort of what I need in a handbag. So really I'm looking for like classic pieces, ones that aren't super duper trendy or that are gonna kind of go out of style. I just, I don't have the funds, like I said, to just go out on a whim and buy a really trendy handbag as much as I like it. Um, it has to be something that's gonna be staying in my collection for quite some time. The next handbag is by Balenciaga and I love Balenciaga in general. I have a few pieces by them. I feel like the quality and the craftsmanship, the leather is just so good, so hardy. So the handbag that I want from them is called the Gossip in the extra small size. And I like the white croc or uh, sort of like mock croc. I do have my um, Neo Nano, whatever classic, whatever it's called, in the black mock croc, and it's been phenomenal. And I just picked up the mini wallet in the mock croc. So I really like Balenciaga's mock croc. I think it's done well. So things that I really like about this handbag, I like the length of the strap drop. So it doesn't look like it's adjustable. It looks like it's only one length, but it looks like it hits fairly high up. Um, when you wear it crossbody. I love that fact. And then I also like that it has that silver hardware with the white leather. Um, I think that personally, I really feel like I like sort of like the silver hardware in general when it comes to handbags, but I particularly like the color of this one. It's not like a super shiny silver. It's almost kind of like an antique looking silver. Um, and it also says BB on each of like the little chains. Um, so it has like a chain drop, a strap drop, and then some leather. And then the other reason why I really like it is even though it's Balenciaga and it says BB on it, because the logo is in white, it sort of just blends in with the actual handbag itself. So, sorry, I'm just looking down at it right now. I'm just admiring it as I talk about it. So. Um, I feel like size wise, it's pretty perfect for my lifestyle. I like that it also has this flat or this slip pocket in the back so you can put um, like receipts, um, you could put like a small card holder, anything in there that you need like really quick access to. So price point of this one is a little bit better on the Balenciaga website, it's $23.50. So for a leather handbag, um, that's pretty good. Um, I would say, I mean, compared to a lot of the canvas pieces from, Louis Vuitton. Third handbag I've talked about before about how I really want to pick it up. Um, it is the Goyard St. Louis tote in the GM size. Um, I would like it in sort of the classic with the tan leather. I have mine in that um, classic color with the black leather. It's in the PM size. So I think I would just like it in the tan and in the larger size. I'm a huge fan of my St. Louis tote. It has aged so well. There's like no wear on the, on the corners. Um, no cracking on the leather. Mine has just been really great and it holds a ton. I just want to get the GM size so I can wear it um, in the winter over larger coats just because the PM size, the strap drops a little bit too short um, to wear with larger coats. So I just, I really want to get the GM size. Um, I don't know the updated price of it. I have it in American. I think it's $17.95 US for that. So it is a little bit pricey for what it is, but I think it's sort of on par with the Louis Vuitton Neverfull, the price of it. So uh, that is the third bag. Last handbag already, because again, there was only a four. I don't want to say I left the best for last, but this one is pretty good. So it is by Loewe and it is the mini puzzle edge bag. So I didn't know that Loewe even made a puzzle with the sort of edge sort of variety or variation, please let me know because this is totally new to me. Um, I have the small puzzle bag, which if you follow me, then you know I love. It's consistently used um, and it's been one of my favorites ever since I got it, but this new edge version is amazing. So essentially, uh, you'll see in the pictures, the edge of it is a little bit overstitched, which I love. The mini size though is in the color Angora. So the reason why I love this handbag. First of all, the color. This color, which is like this cream, is beautiful. I feel like it would just transition throughout all the seasons and you can wear it with so many different outfits. I've never seen Loewe do this kind of color before. Um, it's just stunning. The second reason why I like it, and this is only in the mini size, is it because it comes with that silver or it's called palladium, I believe, hardware. The small size and the puzzle edge 
comes with that gold hardware, which I'm not a huge fan of. I prefer to have that silver or the palladium hardware. So I just love that hardware on it. Um, I also really love that it's done with the goat skin. So my other small, um, Loewe is calf skin and while it's being so hardy I feel like the goat skin is just going to be even more resilient and it's just going to last and be more durable um, so the size of it I know that the, the small works really well for me I feel like the mini would also work really well for me because sometimes in the small there's just so much extra room because I don't carry that much so I feel like the mini would work really well the only thing that I'm slightly apprehensive about is that the strap is not adjustable if they made this in the small with the angora with the palladium hardware i probably actually get that one over the mini just because of the adjustable strap and i do like to wear my handbags really high up but i don't know this mini size is so cute <laughs> uh it's beautiful so anyway i'm just staring at it now the price point on this it's a 28.50 um, Canadian so again fairly high up there it is a leather handbag it's more affordable than Dior for sure um, because like I said the Dior one that I'm looking at is almost two thousand dollars more so that is my 2022 a luxury wish list please leave me any comments down below let me know what you think about my handbag choices sometimes I do need to face reality and the cold hard truth like Lauren don't get that because in a year you're not going to use it I need to hear that sometimes um, so leave me your honest thoughts, opinions, comments. Let me know what you think about my choices. And again, thank you to all the new subscribers, um, all my OG subscribers, everyone that's continuously showed me love and support. I really appreciate you all. Until I see you in my next video, I hope you have a good one. Bye.